Broadcast Jamaican, now gear the news in the Jamaican language. People, Wagwan, this is Kadeen Marshall and I'm going to the news rundown in a Jamaican. First, I'm going to give the headline them. Come April 1, the national minimum wage are going to move from 7000 to 9000 for one 40 hour work week. The Jamaica Hotel and Tourist Association, JHTA, said the removal of some of the travel rules them are going to grow the sector. For the second time in a less than two years, fire burned down the railway market in a downtown Kingston. Elaine Tamsahira comes second in a 60 meter dash yesterday at the Arlen Copernicus Cup were keep in a Poland. Now for the full tour of them. Come April 1, the national minimum wage are going to move from 7000 to 9000 for one 40 hour work week. Carl Samuda, or the Labour and Security Minister, said Cabinet get to go ahead Monday. The minimum wage for security guard are going to move from 9700 to 10500 for one 40 hour work week. Mr. Samuda said all the money go up on the minimum wage, he might beg the employer them for pay people more money if them can. The Jamaica Hotel and Tourist Association, JHTA, said the removal of some of the travel rules them are going to grow the sector. As calling to Clifton Reader or the president for the JHTA, right now it's possible for business travelers to come to Jamaica and them now for going to quarantine. On top of that, the JHTA said them do one poll which shows that 80% of people who travel come here fully vaccinated or take one of the joke already. Yesterday, Prime Minister Andrew Owens take off the COVID-19 rule them like at the jam COVID authorization for travel come to Jamaica and people now for going to quarantine. For the second time in a less than two years, fire burned down the railway market in a downtown Kingston. Only pastel burned down yesterday, but nobody no get hurt. As according to Kerry Gale Farbs, or the public relations officer for the Jamaica Fire Brigade, four fire truck out the fire. Farbs said they managed to stop the fire from spread to some nether stall, but them not sure will start the fire yet. The St. Elizabeth police say one 10 years old boy amongst three smaddy who get locked up for kill one madman Tuesday. As according to Dwight Daly, who are the head for the St. Elizabeth police, them are looking at the man killing, and right now them lock up three boy and them are going to ask them some question. Some report as say one man get beat up in him community and him dead at the Black River Hospital. Two man dead after them get licked after one bike on the Gutters Main Road in a Manchester yesterday morning. The dead man them are 21 years old Nevada Brown and 25 years old Omar Hewitt. As according to the police report, the man them did arrive from Spurtrigo Gutters around 9 o'clock when the driver for one Toyota Mark X so did a come in at the nether direction overtake and lick them off of the bike. Mr. Brown and Mr. Yui get lick off of the bike and fling in a one windscreen a one bus. The two of them dead upon the spot. The driver for the Toyota Mark X did runway but him carrying himself to the Mandeville police station. Now for sports. Elaine Thompson here come second in a 60 meter dash yesterday at the Ireland Copernicus Cup World Athletics Indoor Tour Gold Level Series were keep in a Poland. He was about a win the race in a one meet record with 7.03 seconds and Thompson Hero run 7.04 for come second. People, remember the curfew from 11 pm in the night to 5 in the morning. Me name Kadeen Marshall and that are the news rundown in a Jamaican. Broadcast Jamaican just give the news in a Jamaican language.